This is what full planning mode looks like. Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Megan and I'm a social media manager and coach. And today's video is going to be a plan with me for October. So I'm going to take you along with me as I plan out my month, how I'm looking to grow my business, how I'm looking to grow my online presence. I have lots of thoughts going around in here. So I will share all of that with you and hopefully it helps you in terms of getting excited for the month, getting some plans into action. So if you are interested to see how I put together my new schedule, then just keep watching. So first things first, I'm really looking to kind of beef up or amp up my systems and how I plan things just so it's a little bit more streamlined and I don't feel like I'm constantly running on this like hamster wheel. So things like having my newsletters planned out and researched in advance, knowing exactly the date that I'd like to send them out at, and then planning when I'm actually going to go ahead and write those so that it's not like Sunday of the week and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this to do. I need to plan this. I need to write this. It gets a little bit crazy. I really want to get back in the habit of doing some more Instagram lives. I think that that's a really amazing way to connect with your audience. It also gives you the opportunity to save it and add that to your IGTV. I'm going to be restructuring my calendar a little bit and how I run things. I want to open up availability for more coaching spots and maybe do some more in the mornings, more in the evening, maybe a couple on the week so that people who do work a nine to five and are looking to build something on the side have that opportunity to go ahead and book and then really just blocking myself off some days so I can work on client work or work on my own projects and really be a lot more strict, I guess you could say, in sticking to those guidelines so I don't feel like I'm in chaos all the time. One thing that I forgot to mention is that I've been doing a little bit more in terms of collaboration. So I'll leave a link below for my collab with Latasha. So we did a video on her channel all about doing discovery calls. And then I was actually asked to be on a podcast coming up. And then I'm also collabing with a influencer agency to make a mini course. Those are all very exciting things. And another way that I want to focus on growing my online presence, like making those connections. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. And then I actually created this schedule for uh, myself and for my community. So I had somebody who asked me if I had like times or some sort of schedule or calendar for when I go live and things like that on Instagram so that they knew that it was coming. So I actually have all of my videos coming up for the month. I know what I'm going to film and when it's going to be released. I have two Instagram lives for the month. And then I also have one weekend here where I opened up availability for consulting and coaching calls. And then just as kind of a cool thing for my community and for you guys, I made little challenges. So each week of October, there's an online challenge for your Instagram, um, just different things to help you guys grow your Instagram. Then I'm also going to be offering 50% off my consulting services for October. So I included that here. And I think that's all I had to show you on here. This is what full planning mode looks like. I also have been dabbling a little bit more in paid advertisements, which is something I want to continue to try out and just see what kind of results I can get. As you guys have probably noticed, the engagement and reach on Instagram has been a little bit lower recently. I think they did change up their algorithms again. So really trying to work with that in the best way that I can get the most bang for my buck in terms of getting my message out there. And then lastly, in all honesty, I've been in a little bit of a rut recently. I just haven't been feeling super high energy or high vibe, which is kind of how I feel like normally you guys have seen me and I've been in a really good place for a couple months and it just kind of <laughs> drop down again. So I also want to just look at switching up my calendar in terms of how I deal with my day to day and really looking at like when I'm filled with energy, what makes me feel good, how to do more of those things. So for example, I've noticed that the days that I do have meetings with clients and stuff like that, even if I'm not feeling like super in a good headspace at the beginning of the day, once I have that interaction with real human beings, I feel so much better. And it's kind of making me think about, you know, just how much time I spend 
at home alone. So I've actually been looking at some co-working spaces or if nothing else, just making sure that I go to a coffee shop every day. I find that just being in the energy or in the environment of other people does really like level up my mood. So that is how I'm planning my month of October. Let me know down below if there's something that you're gonna be focusing on in terms of growing your online presence, your business, your impact. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And other than that, I will see you next week. Bye guys.